Hey everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to get VTube Studio set up on Linux from getting the game running through Steam, uh, getting your model imported, get setting up tracking to work because by default tracking doesn't come working uh, because Proton doesn't work with uh, webcams and then also setting things up inside of OBS because that is a little different and then also there is a problem with trying to take a screenshot inside of OBS which I figured out how to fix. Enjoy the video okay. Also. Also subscribe to my main channel. This is like my third throwaway channel for dumb shit, okay? For setting up VTube Studio, the first thing we want to do is obviously install it and get that set up. So you just go open up Steam. There we go. We've got Steam open. And you're going to want to do this because this is just how you get all your games to work on Linux. So you want to come up to Steam, come down to settings, come down to compatibility, and make sure enable Steam Play for other titles is on. And then make sure this is set to either GE Proton 923, Proton, or just regular Proton 923. This should be, right, for most people, it should just be 923. Or you can use the Proton Experimental. In the future, it might be a 924 or it might be Proton 10, just the latest version. The GE is just a custom version of Proton, which has a bit more compatibility with other games. And, um, and if you ever need to change this on a per game basis, because setting it up here just applies it to all your all your games you can right click the game properties go to compatibility and you can change the version here just in case in the future um you download i don't know proton 10 comes out and it works for everything but it stops working for like vtube studio you can just change it specifically back to an older version um if we open up vtube studio my model has loaded just fine but again if you haven't got your model in yet because uh you're you know it's a new basically a new computer the easiest way to get to the where the model is located is just to open up steam again right click manage browse local files and this will bring up your file manager then from here you want to go to uh vtube studio data streaming assets live to two models then you can just drag in your folder here here's my model here are all the default ones so just drag in your folder with your model into this place and um yeah and then your model should just show up uh for setting up tracking to work this is where things are a little scuffed if you use vbridger or 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 just an iphone connected directly things will work just fine so if i unlock my iphone right here and if i press connect to iphone and connect on vbridger you can see this is set up just like it is on windows you just input your you just load up the uh I don't know, the vtube studio app on your phone and you input your ip here from your phone connect to phone connect to vtube studio and this just works fine now if you use this for iphone even if you use your android phone to connect to connect directly through the wi-fi connection here things will work just fine even if you use an android phone uh, again the, the, the I, android tracking is not, is not as good as iphone tracking but it will it will start tracking you but if you use just your regular webcam just like connect to your computer it will not work because proton when it's translating stuff from windows to linux stuff it doesn't have any capabilities for webcams at all inside of it. It doesn't know what to do with webcams. It, it, it doesn't, it, it's like, it, it doesn't know what a webcam is at all. Okay. So you need to use like a third party, a third, a, an extra app to capture the tracking data from your webcam and send it over. Basically what your iPhone is doing, right? It's doing the tracking and then sending that data to your computer. Okay. Now this is the only app that that i found that doesn't have any which isn't a terminal app but for me trying to use this if i try and launch this right now you can see it starts trying to load and then just stops loading um so i don't know if there's a bug in it or something it's the last update was three months ago so hopefully it might just be Nabara just not wanting to work with it. But if you do have a webcam tracking, this app was made by Creating your uh Robo and Tux here who has a guide on how to get this set up. Okay, so if you do use a webcam, I'm gonna leave a link to Robo and Tux's video in the video description. And you can go through this. The first section here is on VTube Studio. And it's watch this video to get uh this set up if it does work for you and again for me it just isn't working and I, I don't know why but again if you use an iphone 
or or even your Android phone, it will just work. It will just work. Okay. <laughs> in order to capture a model inside of OBS, like set it as a source, uh, Spout 2 doesn't exist on Linux, and I'm pretty sure it's because it's a Windows only feature. Um, so we're gonna have to do a game capture. So the first thing we want to do is set our background and come down to color picker, select, uh, again, this can be any color, I just recommend black, um, but make sure transparent and capture is turned on. And then what we want to do is come to OBS, right click and then add a game capture. You might not have game capture here. That is because it doesn't come by default. Your distro might have added it in their system in their system version. Like that is what happened in Obara. They added it in for me because it's its own plugin. But if you installed the flat pack version of OBS, it might not be pre-installed. But it is pretty easy to get the plugin installed. It's literally one extra click. So if you go to the Discover Store or if you're on uh, a GNOME desktop of either Software Center, wherever you download the, the, the app store for your distro, you just want to go to the OBS page. In the Discover Store, the add-ons button's up here. There should be something very similar to the add-on section in the GNOME Store. And then you, this is where a bunch of plugins are already for OBS. Like the multi-stream one, for example, is here. So you can just download it and add it in if you multi-stream. Or uh, verticals here too, if you come down. So there's a couple of plugins here. But the one that we want is OBS VK Capture. Basically, this is the game capture plugin. Uh, and it allows for game capture specific. So if you make sure, just press download and it, and it, it should pre-install it if you have the flat pack version. And then you should see the game capture pop up. Now, once we're in here, we'll just call it VTuber. And then now obviously it's picking up any window and it's picking up VPicture right now, which is wrong. Uh, so we want OBS Studio and we want to allow transparency. You can see it's turned away the black back layer and turned it into a transparent layer. You can see because it's not using we're not using Svelte 2 and we're just using Game Capture, it is going to pick up menus. So if you're adding in items or changing your model around, the menu I, items will pick up still. So just be careful when you're doing it. But if you, you know if you're playing your game or whatever, you can uh, just come to YouTube Studio and exit out and then go back and you know give it a second for that to get look and it's basically the same and just to prove definitely 100% transparent uh we'll just give myself a uh, let up we'll just give myself a uh, green background right here and you can see look uh perfect i just not lined up properly but there we go <laughs> back green background and we can change this to you know uh blue and it's all completely transparent so you can put your actual background behind it or um, or whatever and get it to work pretty pretty easy another thing that is pretty common to do in VTube studio which everyone does from time to time is they take some screenshots of their model for like thumbnails or for twitter or whatever okay you want to take some pictures if you come and take a screenshot we'll uh we'll um we'll just take a quick screenshot you can see we've got it and if i click save it tries saving it to the C drive, user, Steam user, pictures, screenshots. Now on Linux, the C drive doesn't exist. This is a Windows like folder structure, right? I thought that this might just redirect itself to the pictures folder, which is the home uh, pictures folder, just kind of like how it is in Windows. But um, as you can see, this is empty. And I tried searching up this in my computer. So if we go try and type in VTS 25, BTS uh, 2025. Ignore those other files there from uh, clients I work with. They send me some screenshots for video stuff. But you can see nothing comes up in my computer when I try and search for this file at all. <laughs> like this doesn't actually get saved to your computer. But there are there are two workarounds. First off, we can just create a we can just change our background color to like it's green or whatever take a steam screenshot which is f12 and you can see that's popped up a little screen steam screenshot we can save it or you can use uh press print screen and you know whatever thing you've got you can just take the picture of that and then you would have to uh take out the background in um your photo editor like gimp or uh, affinity if you've got affinity working on your um system or photo p or whatever but the problem is um with some models and this is this is the case for my model you can see it 
that the color, my, my hair is like slightly transparent at the edges. And that's just the way my model is drawn. And you can see here, I've got a couple of gaps in my hair on the sides here. And the green kind of bleeds into my model, which makes it really hard to remove. Now the edges of my hair start uh, still green. I just loaded up by my a thumbnail I made from, and again, I made this, this, this is the, I'm still getting everything set up in Linux, and this is the first thumbnail I made inside of Linux. But you can see, if I zoom in on the side of my model, you can see the green still. It's kind of bleeding in a little bit. Side here, like, this is all still got a tinge of green in it. Like, it, it's kind of hard to get it all, like, removed. Uh, I, I do think Photoshop does have the best removal, but again, Photoshop doesn't work on Linux. And for the most part, you can't tell when it's like, no, actually you can still kind of tell the green around these parts. But fear not, because I have figured out how to do it. Okay, the first thing we want to do is close out of YouTube Studio. Now what we want to do is come back to Steam and uh, right click and browse local game files. Now this will bring us up back into this folder again. This file here, start without Steam. You can do this on Windows too, but what this does will start VTube Studio outside of Steam. So just in case you need to like, you're logged into a different Steam account and you don't want to set up like VTube Studio on the new one. Um, for like, if you like got a Smurf in fucking Marvel Rivals or something and you want to keep VTube Studio open, but change it to a different Steam account, you can do this. Okay, you just double click it. And what it will do is it'll uh, load up the VTube Studio without Steam. You can see here, I've still got vBridger running because through Steam, but VTube Studio still isn't running through Steam. And it'll, you know, keep your preferences all the same, right? Uh, you will just, I, I will just need to reconnect uh, vBridger just because it is, you know, we were we, we, we from the program. But let, it works just the same, just fine. And what we're going to do is I, I'm going to rechange the background back to black just because. I like that. And again, just make sure we have transparent in capture text here. We'll just, we'll just throw on these shades just so we, this is definitely the screenshot, right? And I'm not fooling you. We'll take a picture and again, make sure transparent in background is ticked on here. Okay. And now if I click save, you can see it no, it doesn't say steam user here right now. It says weirdo. And now if I go to the pictures folder, it has created the screenshots folder with this picture in it with the transparent background. Now, I do not know why this works and you can see no, there's like no tinge in my hair. And uh, again, uh, I'll load up the affinity and uh, I'll uh, drag it in. But look, I do not know why this works uh, at all, but opening it without Steam allows the photo to save. And I do not know if this is gonna work for everybody. This is working for me and I've not seen anyone talk about this if you do try this and it and if it does or doesn't work for you please let people let, talk about it in the comments so we can get some data on figure out why so yeah if it does if it does or doesn't work for you and if you've tried it uh, just comment saying if it does or doesn't with what distro you're on and um, so we can try and figure out like if it is for everyone if it's for certain distros or if it's just me for whatever fucking reason i don't know i, I can't i can't really test this so if it, yeah, more people who, who can just try opening without Steam and trying to take a screenshot and it's going to the fucking pictures folder, <laughs> um, that'd be great. Uh, but in the future, if VTube Studio could just let us just choose where the photos save to instead of just having a predetermined path, uh, that would be great. That, that would be like the one thing that just every time you save a picture, I either ask you where to save it or somewhere in the menu, you can add like a default screenshot location option somewhere in here and so that way you can just choose where it is and you wouldn't have to work this around but um you can get those nice simple transparent pngs um you just have to open without steam i'm gonna end the video uh this is like my third channel so you don't need to subscribe her. this is just like where i throw up literally anything that isn't relevant <laughs> i just thought i'd throw this up because uh i found something new and i wanted to share the info out for the world and uh, i tied it all up in you know uh, in a in a getting started video if you want to sub to my main channel i just do like vtuber clip reacts and uh vtuber stuff normal vtuber stuff on my main channel but if this does go well i might record a getting like obs like a full obs setup kind of thing going with more details on 
again plugins set up and which aren't found in the software center because uh i'm tr i'm i'm trying to make the move over to linux as much as i can and uh you know I, f I found out quite a couple quite a lot of things trying to set this all up and i want to try and get gather all the info that i've that i've learned over the last couple of months and um put it kind of put it into one video subscribe to my other channel okay but if if the you can send this video to someone who needs it, okay? <laughs> and again, do the comments if uh, if if you've got the things working, okay? Bye.